Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, November 29th, and I'm coming to you with another unboxing as promised. Um, what goes along with this unboxing, and I've not opened it, so when I open it, you and I both will be seeing it together for the first time. Um, but what else goes with this unboxing has not arrived yet, but that's perfectly okay. I'll go on and tell you about it um, a little bit towards the end. So, Hope that you're having a great day, and I hope you're looking forward to this unboxing. Let's get started. So, it is a bigger box, and I posted a picture of it on Instagram, and one of the ladies that follows me asked, what quilting box is this? And it's not a quilting box. I wish, because this box is big, and it would be filled with nice, quilting stuff it would be perfect so let's see pretty pink paper this is my Erin Condren planners so um, I've really been looking forward to this and I kind of debated which planner to get which style calendar should I get and all that jazz and um, an Excuse me, another friend of mine, um, Dana Pittman um, of EssenceOfMe.com also posted an unboxing. And as I saw hers and I saw the format and was able to see it personally, um, I was really intrigued and kind of knew this is the format that I wanted to go with. So, let's go. First thing is it's a postcard. I like they, they give you neat little stuff in your um, boxes and within your journal I mean your planners and stuff but this one says strive for for progress not for perfection and I absolutely need this because I'm a perfectionist to a degree um, so yeah I need to strive more for progress and not for perfection Oh, and a little sticker in here says, be thankful. That's nice. And I think I'm going to, because they give you these little cards and things that you can give away to inspire others. And what I think I may do with most of them is make a picture collage and sit it in my um, <clears throat> sewing room where my office space part will be, um, just to give myself encouragement and reminders Okay, and so that's the inside. So like I said, I've not opened this. We're doing it together. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Awesome. Oh, how nice. Okay, so let's go with the first one. This one is the Life Planner. And oh, it is beautiful. Look at that. And I got the silver um, rings. And this has a detachable um, ruler that comes with it. I actually used it in my previous Erin Condren um, as a divider so that I know, knew what page I was on needed to turn to rapidly. I could get to it just by putting that in place of where I needed it to be. And so in it, oh, neat. I'll get to this in a minute. But I like this, I love this, this cover. And I chose not to have my name on it just because, I don't know, I, I loved, you know, they let you do like a preview and see what your name's gonna look like on it um, and I chose not to have my name on it because I just thought it was more beautiful um, like this it, it looks like a painting and I just thought that was really really nice and on the inside cover um, I like this this is different from the previous one um, it's got a um, like a notepad type thing you can write on this with like dry erase marker or wet erase marker um, I think I may use wet erase because I think dry erase, you rub it, it's going to 
you know come off but with wet erase um, you write on it and you're gonna have to use like a wet paper towel or what have you to get it off so I think that'll be neat not quite sure what I'll use this portion for but I do like this concept and then I've heard many people complain about how thick the paper is not or how thick the paper is or none of that matters to me is it going to serve my purpose that's all I'm concerned with. I'm really not concerned with. Is the paper thicker than, than a normal planner? Or is the paper thicker than my last planner? I really don't care. Just as long as I can use it. Um, so that's really nice. And then I can put my name here if I choose. And I like that on some of the pages throughout, there's just pages of inspiration just nice little quotes. Everything you now know was once unknown. I like that. Make room for good things to begin. And see, I think these things are just really cute. Like, I could take that and put that quote on a piece of paper on my in my printer and um and then frame it. Seriously, I work part time at Home Goods. I kid you not. I was straightening up the frames, and they had some framed artwork. Um, that you could purchase as is and all it was was quotes framed and they were going for like eight bucks ten bucks was the most expensive one I saw and I'm thinking seriously I can go on my computer decorate the page however I want write up a quote that I like print it out and frame it and put it in my room my bathroom my sewing studio wherever and guess what i had been thinking about that like months ago and then i see it and i'm like people are getting paid for this really <laughs> so guess what i'll be doing but at the beginning of each um month or what have you they've got different sayings um so that's january and then february you can't really see it. it's got a glare uh, let's see and then March the lighting is really horrible um, here's April you always have time for the things you put first and oh isn't that so true so I do like that but let's go back here so this is like a year at a glance and you can see um, the entire year and they're you know different colors for each um, month but you get to see the year and this actually is 2016 and so this side is 2016 and then this side is all of 2017 which is really good i think for me because sometimes i need to look ahead um to be able to plan certain things if i'm like i'm living in virginia and want to plan when i'm going home to texas to visit or whatever i can kind of look at this and get a glance of you know what's going on in the month or whatever and be able to see the dates and know kind of roundabout when i want to plan a trip so that is nice <clears throat> and I do like these as well and these coincide with each month um, like I said they're color coded so each month is also the same color as these and um, there are 12 of them of course and so with these I can use them to write out my main goals for the month if I so choose I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but that is an idea. Make that box here. And then, and I'm not going to go through the whole planner. And um, just some blank pages to write on. And this begins the end of January. I mean, the end of uh, December. Last two days of December into the month of January. And so that's how they bridge that. And so <clears throat> this is the month, the entire month at a glance. And you have your goals section and so forth. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to set my planner up this year. 
um, last year's planner because I had the hourly planner and I wasn't too pleased with that because I'm not a homeschooling mom anymore and um, I am a full-time working woman it it didn't suit me and so that was my own fault because when I homeschooled the hourly planner worked perfectly because we had so many different tasks that we needed to do by a certain time or whatever and so it allowed me to schedule um, and I didn't take that into consideration when I purchased it just went based on what I had used previously and what worked and so it did not work for me in this season of my life so um, I mostly I think I, I didn't in fact my Erin Condren for 2016 was pretty much a waste because it was the hourly and I didn't use it to it to its fullest I used these sections like nobody's business um, I'm not a huge decorator of my planners um, I may do some decorating I don't know but on these I wrote out my bills things I had to do deadlines I had to have for work or for myself um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to do something different with this one because instead of the hourly I got the horizontal layout and it gives me a lot of writing space and I write a lot in my planners um, and then it gives you little sections here little sections here and I'm pretty much sure already what I'm gonna do with these sections um, I think um, my first thought is to use the little boxes there as my menu planning because I do menu plan and then I use that menu plan to buy my groceries and so um, living the vegan lifestyle is for me it's not as imprompt as just hey let's have XYZ for dinner I kind of have to think it out because sometimes some of the um, recipes are quite lengthy and have to be um, prepped um, quite a bit so and and the um, ingredients that go with it and, and so on I kind of need to wrap my mind around for this week I need to shop for this and so I think I'll use that for my menu planning at least that's my concept at this point of uh, what I'm planning to do and then at the end of each month it's just got um, another blank page for writing so I've been thinking over the last few weeks and each month is the same um, nothing different here for February and so forth um, just kind of thinking in the last couple of weeks you know exactly how I want to set up my planner and use it I'm still doing a lot of thinking on that what I do like that's different about this one though is they actually have a section dedicated to notes and this little tab says notes and it's a lot more paper in this one than in my current planner oh neat and it's got graph paper in it too how neat that'll be awesome for some um, quilt doodles and <laughs> sketching out and so forth oh and this is really nice it's got some blank pages no lines at all that's nice that is really nice oh neat and then it's got 2018 laid out so you can start getting an idea of what the next year is like which is good for me because and it's got where you can write goals out here I like that too um, I kind of wish this were for the way this setup is I kind of wish that they had that set up for 2017 towards the front that I showed you at first that would be nice but I like to be able to see the next year also so I can kind of mark and plan for the holidays and paydays and all that jazz so that's pretty neat too and so as with the previous previous planner that I got for 2016 this one also has stickers pre-printed stickers something just fell out but I'll get it but it also has some blank ones now I did, I did use these in my 2016 planner um, and I enjoyed having those um, at my disposal and all of these just say birthday. What I did with these is I put them on the date 
and then I just wrote the person's name up under it, you know, whoever's birthday it was. So those were neat to have. I didn't have as many, I don't believe, as I do this time. So that's really nice. I do wish I had more, but I can make up for that with the blank ones because they also do the blank one. So any additions that I need to make on birthdays and stuff would be great. So I do like that. And then there is... Uh, so this little, this little book fell out as I was showing you the stickers, but they have a little folder here. And then it's, this one has a little book and it says celebrate someone or something every day. Now, um, I used this one, my 2016 one, and I may just put my 2016 one in here since it's already filled out. I used it for, um, not only birthdays, but anniversaries, um, things like that, so that I could keep track of, of those dates because, yes, I can keep them on my iPhone. Yes, I can keep all of that on my iPad. But it is just really something about keeping it um, written down. It helps to solidify it in my mind. Um, but I think... I'm going to um, copy um, Dana with this one for 2017. What she did with hers for this year was she used it to log the verses that she read in scripture and so forth. And because I'm trying to hold myself more accountable to reading the word um, and to knowing what I'm reading, I'm not trying to do like to read the Bible in a year or anything like that, but just to be able to read more of God's word. So I think I may use that similar to how she does um, and just log the scriptures that I've read or what have you. So I think I'll do that. And then again on the back, it's got another cover. This one's blank, no lines on it, but you can use again a dry erase or a wet erase marker and um, write on that and erase it when needed or so, what have you. Now what's in the little pouch? Now this I don't like. Yes, it enables the book to close and lie flat, but the 2016 planner that I had, this was in the planner itself and I really liked that because I kept some things in here and if I needed it I could just grab it out of my zipper pocket another thing I did not like um, for the 2016 thing um, was opening it trying to open it it was like a snap one kind of like not not with the zipper thing here it was a snap one and it was hard as a bear trying to open that thing um, to the point where I would seal it up like where my thumb is all the way down and leave that open so I could f put my finger in there to be able to open it. I hated trying to open my little pouch um, but I did like it in the planner. I did like that it was within the planner so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get this in the planner or because I have um, the other one from last year maybe try to figure out how to get it in this one and you can add and um, take things out of this planner um, I'm just not quite sure how or if it would mess up the spiral the coils um, I'll have to watch some videos myself to see how that's done and see if I want to tackle it otherwise um, they do have these things that you can put on the edge here and then be able to slip them in kind of like they kind of look like these things here so that you can put them in the planner so let's see what's in the pouch oh, these are the cards I was talking about the little cards of inspiration you are totally awesome I like that Thank you for being you. You're the best.
Um, and then this one says, hello friend, and it's a 20% off of the next purchase that I can share with a friend. It's a little coupon, that's pretty cool. And then it's got a sample sticker book. Oh, this is nice. Now let me tell you, I did like, see those stickers? And these were also included in 2016's planner. Um, I seem to have had more though, so I'm wondering now if they just give you a sample of them so that you'll order the others. But really, the only ones I really, really liked and used were the dollar sign ones. I put those on the dates that were paydays. Oh, but these are some nice, cute sample stickers over here. And this is something I wanna try to get a little bit more into using those stickers. Again, not decorating a whole lot, but just trying to add some fun stuff to my planner all right oh cool and I do have an interchangeable cover and so this talks about how to switch out your interchangeable covers which is awesome um, and you can follow a video or on the back it does have an explanation so that's pretty cool and then, oh, these are called coil clip connectors. And this is what I was talking about, that I could attach to here. And then I would be able to put the pouch in the planner. I'll see how I decide to use that. Not quite sure. All right, so that is it for my 2017 Erin Condren Life Planner. But I also ordered, and this one is going to be used for my day-to-day -day personal life. This is all personal. Doctor's appointments, um, birthdays, bills, all that jazz. All my personal stuff. But I also got the Deluxe Monthly Planner. And it is the same cover. Because I really did like the cover. I really like that cover. Um... And this is, this is pretty big. This is pretty big. It's got the same cover, inside cover as the Life Planner. But these are like full sheets. The sayings seem to be the same. The yearly layout, the same. The monthly goals seem to be the same, which is good. The best time for new beginnings is now. And this is what my cover for 2016 looks like on my life planner. Um, again, I just chose no words. I wanted to just go with something um, pretty. <laughs> no words on the front this time. This is my month at a glance. And that's going to be each month. This is pages after. And it looks like these may be monthly goals or what have you. Notes that I can write in. And oh, that's pretty cool. Dotted paper. A little different than the graph paper. And each month seems to be the same. Mm -hmm. Now what I think I will do is get some tabs for the months so that I can flip right to the month. So I think I will do that. Um, kind of like those tabs that they have for your Bible, um, but this one will be for the month of the year, and I think I will add that to here just so I can flip to it quickly. And what my purpose for using this is, along with... Um, it's a creative planner called, um, let me get the name of it here, Your Best Year, um, and it's purchased, I purchased mine on Etsy, and it was recommended by Dana, um, but because I am trying to do YouTube videos and I am trying to expand my business with quilting, um, I am using this one for business purposes. Um, trying to go on and start planning what type of videos I want to do, um, 
and so forth. So that is my goal for that. I love this. This has a ton of paper to write on. And I do mean a ton. Like, that is a pretty good chunk of paper just to write on. So that's awesome. And then it's got some blank stickers as well. So I can use that. Um, I also have a brother scan and cut so I can make my own stickers if I want to. And I do plan to do some stickers. Um, they've got one that's got uh, a little video camera for YouTube videos. So I will be using those. It's got a folder, pocket folder just as in the life planner and then the back page is the same as in the life planner but this will allow me to go on and start writing in ideas I'm I've been very inspired by watching um, Dana's videos and following along with her on her um, block of the month quilt alongs um, kind of thing and want to do some things like that as well but more so in the applique direction because that is what I really enjoy doing um, and some other things just trying to get some ideas of things I want to blog about um, things I want to create um, and things I want to do videos about so this will come in handy for that as will the creative journal um, as well to go along with this so I'm really looking forward to 2017 I've heard more than one person say 2017 is gonna be a really great year for so many people and I truly truly do believe that and I'm looking forward to it not rushing 2016 out the way but really looking forward to 2017 um, so yeah that was my unboxing of my deluxe monthly planner and my Erin Condren life planner I absolutely love the cover absolutely love and then this is the back of it just I love it and I'm not a gold person so that silver is perfect for me I am NOT a gold person by any stretch of the imagination I just don't I don't care for gold jewelry or <laughs> anything like that so I really do like those in silver I like that even though this is a little chunkier than the monthly one, um, I'm sorry, the, the deluxe one, it's still not super big. And then this one, I like how small that is. Now I can say this, the, the life planner that I have now, I carry with me everywhere. And that will change and the reason that will change is um, I heard how um, sturdy the covers are and just right before I ordered these I noticed that the covers on cover on mine was starting to tear away um, it's damaged a little bit on the corners and that's from putting it in my bag and so forth so um, I'm not going to put my planners in my bag and carry them with me or anything like that. These will be left at home. Um, and for things that I need to keep in mind when I'm away from home, then I will keep that information on my phone and then transpose it into my planners once I get home. Just because I really do want to keep my covers really nice and um, be able to change them out. Um each year if I so choose so thank you guys for um, watching my unboxing of my Erin Condren planners I do appreciate you spending almost 30 minutes <laughs> or maybe 30 minutes by the time this is over um, watching me unbox my planners um, do me a favor and if you enjoyed this subscribe just grow along with me um, and see how my videos come from this point on See what fun things I'm going to be doing because I am going to be doing some fun stuff. Um, and like this video if you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and chatting. And I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.